Hey everyone, welcome back for more Let's Play Tales of Vesperia. Last time we got all the way to the... We got through a whole bunch of side quests, and now we're going to go to Nordopolica. So there's Nordopolica. Yep, otherwise known as the Colosseum City. Once popular among the nobility is a place for pitting criminals against each other in brutal contest. Nordopolica is currently run by the Guild Palestrale and has become a city of entertainment. Yeah, Palestrale's just as big a guild as the Dawn's Altosk, and... My, how pretty. So, party in the streets every day, huh? This is gonna be great! Since when are you on vacation? Oh yeah, right. The minion's work is never done. You're the Dawn's messenger, so don't be rude to Bellius. Young man, you are looking at a veritable paragon of manners and good breeding. <laughs> We've arrived safely, thanks to you all. Once I've unloaded my cargo, the Fiertia belongs to you, as promised. Thanks! We'll take good care of her. So, are the sands of Kogor still a long way from here? They lie far to the west of Nordopolica. Aren't there some big mountains on the way there? That would make going by foot a problem. Wonder if we could get there by boat. I don't think that's possible. Not many people go to the desert. I doubt there would be a place to moor a boat. Are you seriously going through with this? I told you, the desert is really dangerous. I can't just let you go to a place like that all by your... I mean... Dropping anchor. Haha, uh -huh, Rita got... I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, as they said on the boat, the Colosseum City, Nordopolica. Fireworks. Yay, and a barrier. Good work. Thanks. No, no. Thank you. You're a huge help. Right. Mutual back scratching and all that. Oh, m Madam President, it's an honor to, to have you here. Excavating more ruins? I'm always impressed that the guild boss himself supervises the excavations. The, the excavation of r ruins is wh what I live for. Who's that? That's Regay, the head of Ruins Gate. Ruins Gate? That sounds familiar. They're the guild that's helping the Imperial Mages excavate ruins. Oh, that's why I've heard of them. Well, I, I have friends who are expecting me, so if you'll excuse m me... He seems like a nice person. Hey, you were talking earlier about a guild that's selling Hope Loan Blastia. You mean Leviathan's Claw? Do you think they might be getting their Blastia under the table from those Ruin guys? Ruin's Gate is completely innocent. How can you be so sure? They're upstanding, serious, diligent. That's what they're known for. Huh. Well, I'm off. Take good care of the Fiertia. Say hi to Tokunaga for me, too. Sure. Good luck, brave Vesperia. Thanks! Mage is selling Blastia on the black market? That is so not good. Rita? Huh? Oh, yeah. Well, I got some work to do myself. Oh yeah, your letter. It's rebellious, right? Yep. Hey, why don't we all go? Good idea. She probably knows something about Pharaoh. We'll just tag along with you and say hi to Bellius. I don't know if that's such a good idea. Of course, I, I've only heard rumors, but, uh, hmm. What? Is something wrong? Huh? Nah, it's nothing. Where can we find Bellius? The Colosseum, probably, since Bellius is the Duce of Palastrali. Okay, here we go. Bellius. Just what sort of person is this Bellius, exactly? Well, that's just it. I've heard the name often enough, but I've never met the person. Carol, do you know? I've only lived in Dongress, so I don't really know the guilds in Nordopolica. The last thing we need is another Don on our hands. <laughs> you can say that again. One Don is plenty. I can hardly wait to meet Bellius now! Alrighty, so we're going to go over here, and there's a guy sitting here. What? I guess nothing. Anyways, head across, and there's... An there! That's the guy I was looking for. Master! Ah, Princess, it's been a while. Are you in good health? Yes, Master, you look quite well yourself. 
It seems you've traveled to a great many places since we last met. Yes, I've seen and heard so many things. It's been an amazing experience. But that was the experience... Really, was that experience really necessary in order for you to take the Imperial Throne? What do you mean? You've been cavorting about with people of questionable character, without any regard to proper behavior or principles. Questionable character? Huh. Have you given any thought of whether or not these people, uh, these have been the right actions for a candidate of, to, of the Imperial Throne? But Master, you said that I needed to have a wide range of experience. There's nothing wrong with broadening your horizons. The problem is your own actions. My own actions? It's a question of whether or not you've been conducting yourself in a manner fitting of the sacred royal of Empress. I'd like you to examine the actions that you yourself have taken since you left the castle, and consider whether or not those are tr were truly the correct actions to take. Oh, told off. Haha. <laughs> what a self-righteous old geezer. I didn't notice that attitude last time we met him. Is he always like that? Yes, Master Drake has always been very strict. I'm pretty used to it, though. But really, he might have just—he might just have the reason, been the reason. He might just be the reason that I'm traveling with you. I mean, I want to prove him to myself. I want to prove myself to him. That's just a guess, right? I'm sorry, actually. No, it's fine. If you're just guessing, it's true that you want to pr prove yourself to him, right? Yes. All right, then you should set us him aside and give him a piece of your mind someday. Okay. Yes. Okay. Next up, what do you have to say? Nothing. Okay. Um. Enter them. Let's just go through here. There's a bunch of shops and such inside here. Um. Okay. So right here, you actually want to make sure you have like four or five magic lenses on you, because, uh, there's a couple of fights ahead with some missable enemies. So, uh, here's your inn here. I'm not gonna stay here yet. Uh, it's nothing. There's a shop right here for you, which I'm gonna go do some shopping right now, so I'll be right back. Alright, all I did was buy a perfect green, a Zagnal, and a Damascus sword. And, uh, the Damascus, the Damascus sword is actually pretty good, because it has the, uh, happiness ones, which is the boosts to all your, uh, experience and other stuff that you get during the fights and such. Anyways, you just want to head over here, make sure you, make sure you have saved, because this is actually kind of an important deal here, because there's a, quite a bit of fighting up ahead. I think you might actually have another opportunity to save before you actually go in. Just so you know. Anyways, just go up here and talk to this Lord guy. Melius's private room is ahead. I cannot allow you to go any further. But we've come to see Bellius. What? Who are you? We're a guild! Brave Vesperia! I haven't heard of you. Do you have an appointment with the Duce? Huh? An appointment? Unfortunately, my lord only meets with individuals who have appointments. How about a messenger from Don Whitehorse? The Don? Oh, my apologies. My name is Nats. I'm the acting representative for the Duce. I will gladly deliver any message you have for the Duce. Sorry, but the Don's orders were to give this letter directly to Bellius. Is that so? Unfortunately, Bellius only receives guests on the night of a new moon. If you could perhaps come on the next new moon. The next new moon? Why only on the night of a new moon? I guess that's just how she does things. People can be weird sometimes. The moon just turned full, so the new moon is still a while away. So should we come back? We don't really have a choice if she's not here. Sorry for the trouble. I'll let her know that a messenger from the Dawn stopped by. Great, thanks. So why don't we see what we can find out about the desert? And about Pharaoh, too. I'd like to get some information about the Air Crene myself. We shouldn't have trouble getting information about all of that in a city this big. You mind if old Raven goes ahead to the inn? I should send off a progress report to the Don. Sure. All right, let's get going too. Raven left the party. No. Oh, whatever. Anyways, we are just gonna head on down here now and head on out.